What's up everyone, Eric here, and today I was going to be going through and sharing my settings of my MSI Bravo 15, but they're not working anymore. So, yeah. So I was going through my settings and writing this script when Windows tells me that there's some important updates that it needs to install. So I let Windows do its thing, the system restarted, and after booting back into Windows, I opened up Dragon Center to finish writing the script, and it's not the same. So apparently, MSI pushed out an update for Dragon Center. So like right away, I'm like, oh, this cannot be good. So I decided to run some games to make sure everything was running properly without changing any of my settings. And those settings being game mode was turned off, and under user scenario, under user, I had the performance level set to low and the fan speed set to advanced with the CPU and GPU both having their own custom fan curves. The game I picked was Rainbow Six Siege mainly because it is a high FPS game. And just a quick recap in my previous testing, I was getting about 160 FPS with these settings in Rainbow Six Siege at medium. But after the update, I was getting around 25 FPS. So needless to say, I was pretty pissed off. So I spent the next 10 to 15 minutes running some tests to figure out what exactly was going on. Now it seems that the low performance level in Dragon Center no longer properly uses the 5500M. And what I mean by that is that the system is using the 5500M rather than the integrated graphics, but it's now staying in its power saving mode. Now I tried to get Windows 10 to force the 5500M into high performance mode with no success. Then I set the performance level to medium in Dragon Center, which after running some tests still had the CPU temperatures running extremely warm. So then I tried down clocking the CPU using the advanced power option settings in Windows with some success. The temperatures did drop and when I tested Rainbow Six Siege, I was getting around 140 FPS, again at medium settings. So this could work for games that are more GPU limited without noticing any real frame loss. But the issue with doing this is that the CPU is only running at 1.7 gigahertz. So doing any sort of productivity based work is not gonna go so well. So in search for a better solution, I went on a journey far and wide across the internets I tried Ryzen Master, but it doesn't support the 4800H. I even tried updating the Bravo 15's BIOS, hoping that they were fixing some of their voltage issues, but it didn't change any of the CPU temperatures. And then I actually found something very interesting. It's called Ryzen Controller. The link is in the description below. Ryzen Controller is an open source utility with a fairly easy to use GUI. And this utility allows you to modify AMD's power and temperature tables. Ryzen controller works by letting you set what I would call a soft limit on either the CPU temperature and or the TDP of the CPU. You can actually also play around with the VRM currents, which is kind of cool as well. But the really cool thing about Ryzen controller is that it will work with any AMD 4000 series laptop. So now after I've updated the BIOS for the Bravo 15, the average frame rate in Rainbow Six Siege at medium is around 160 FPS, which matches up with the results that I got from my Bravo 15 review. Now this did have the CPU temperature averaging around 80 Celsius, but it had temperature spikes going into the high 90s. Now, after installing and setting up Ryzen controller, I'm getting around 148 FPS in Rainbow Six Siege, again at medium, but now the average temperatures are around 76 Celsius with the temperature spikes going into the low 80s. So yes, there is some performance loss, but we're looking at something around one Celsius per frame. So I feel that this is worth it. So now after all that, I now have nine steps on how to help you guys set up your MSI Bravo 15. Step one, turn off game mode in Dragon Center. Step two, in Dragon Center, under the user scenarios, under users, set the performance level to medium and set the fan speed to advanced. Then click the little cog to the right and customize your fan profile for both the CPU and GPU. 
Step three, set the power option in Windows to high or ultimate performance. Step four, this is an optional step and that's to update the Bravo 15's BIOS. So go to the MSI Bravo website and download the new BIOS and install it. I'll link the Canadian and US pages below. Step five, download and install Ryzen controller. Again, the link is in the description below. Step six, in Ryzen controller under the CPU tab, set the CPU temperature limit to 80 Celsius. Again, this is a bit more of a soft limit and how it works is when the temperature spikes above 80 Celsius, the utility will limit the power to the CPU. I also set the CPU TDP to 24 watts. And under the power option, I set the VRM current to 34 and then click apply. Step seven, under the settings tab, click launch Ryzen controller on startup and click minimize Ryzen controller to system tray. Now you do want to do this because you will need to actually apply these settings every time you start up Windows. Step eight, now this step is optional, but you can also save presets so you can actually quickly switch between different settings depending on what use case you're wanting to do. And finally, step nine, and that's to enjoy those lower CPU temperatures. Wow, this video definitely became more complicated than I was expecting it to be, but it did at least have some sort of positive result. Because in most games on this laptop, you will be bottlenecked by the GPU. And thanks to the Ryzen controller, you will still have those lower CPU temperatures with no frame loss. And that's all I got for this one. But if this video does well, and if you, the viewers, want it, I am willing to actually try some more extreme measures to keep the temperatures down, which likely will involve cutting some holes in the bottom of the Bravo 15. So leave a comment if you want me to do that. So if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're still watching, think about subscribing and clicking that bell icon so you get notified whenever I drop a new video. Please follow me on Twitter at HFG underscore YT. I do have a Discord server. The link is in the description below. And as always, thank you for watching and see you next time.